Okay, today I'm going to talk about why this all works. So, let's say you've set your goal, which is there in your, this fella here. Now to get to this goal, this fella isn't going to make it because the goal's too big, right? Look at the size of it. So, week by week, this fella has set a goal for the end of the month, say. And he's like, right, here's the one thing I need to do this week to get through the week. So after that week, he reviews it. He does the return and the report. You can, you can, you can see what's going to happen here. And then he becomes this fella. Yeah? And then the next week, a little bit bigger. And then by the end of the month, he becomes this fella. So that's month one. Okay, four weeks in. Your goal, is, your goal is still over here. I keep doing that because it's the wrong way around on the camera. But your goal is still over here. Now, this fella still isn't big enough. He still hasn't quite got there. But he's reached the monthly goal. The smaller goal, which will be there. Which, again, this fella here was still too small to get to that. However, this fella, four weeks down the line, is there. So you can see how that's going. Now what might happen is, this goal, the bigger goal, is further out. But you might have some event comes up, something that happens. So this fella stays the same size for a bit. Because holidays, what have you. So it actually does this, and then it goes along this way. But then he gets to this bit, size, and then this size. But then shrinks a bit maybe, because of a holiday but then comes back, keeps going. So we get that, and then another up, down, up, go. Okay. So, what you might get is, you start out here, it all goes well for the first month, you reach your first month's goal. But then after that, you've had your first month, and you're like, do you know what, actually, this is, it's tough going. So you just stay the same, but that's fine. Because then you'll hit the you'll hit the same sort of thing which got you here in the first place to be like, do you know what? I really need to do something about this. And then you'll start to grow again. Yeah? But then you might have a holiday or something, you know, you might have a wedding, you fall off the rails for a week or two. It doesn't matter. You might even regress a bit, but as long as this line carries on moving upwards you still reach your goal so this fella when he started out really really was trying hard but just wasn't sure how where to go this fella is now armed with all of this information that you've learned from doing your weekly battle plan from setting your goal doing it week on week on week on fo on focusing on on working on your fitness your food and your focus to eventually reach that goal and this is why this works. And I want to help you out with the first month. So if you click the link in the email that I sent you this video in, <laughs> then it'll take you to a page on my website. You can look at doing the 28-day online challenge. Okay. And that'll help you out with the fitness because there's a there's an exercise program in there using kettlebells. It will also help you out with the food because I've got a nutrition system which has got thousands of recipes in. And what you do in there, it's not a tracking system. You're not tracking what you've eaten. You are actually planning what to eat. What's the difference to that? If you track what you eat, you eat stuff and then you track it across the day. You go, well, I've just eaten that and you track it and you go, oh, that's too much. And then the next day you go, oh, that's too much. Whereas if you plan it, you go... Well, I know that's what I need to eat tomorrow because that's my calories and that's how much it is and it, it'll get your protein targets and everything. And then you go, okay, I've planned that, so that's what I need to eat tomorrow. Then you might look at it through the week and go, well, on Saturday I'm going out, got a wedding, whatever, a party, whatever, so actually I need to up my calories for that. So you can go, right, well, I'll put them down for that them day. Like, well, like I said in the, in the food email, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and have a look at that. But you, you lower your calories during the week and then you have more on a Saturday as long as it averages out across the week. Okay. And it will actually give you a calorie target within this um, nutrition system as well. So there is that. And it will also help you out with your focus, 
because I will be there to help you. Okay, so click the link, have a look. If you don't want to do it, that's perfectly fine. There's no obligation. It's entirely up to you. And if you've got any questions about it, hit me up.